Mr. Shelton. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Council, we do not uh, have a uh, formal addendum uh, before you this evening. However, I am aware of a, uh, a deputation request that came in today from uh, Mr. Dorian Baxter. Uh, council uh, could consider that deputation either as part of the council meeting or uh, as part of the uh, open forum. Thank you. No other addendums. And this is the um, opportunity for the open forum. Is there anyone in the audience that wishes to uh, address council, provide some suggestions to make Newmarket even better? Thank you. Mr. Baxter, we've um, heard from our CAO that uh, you wish to make a deputation. The more appropriate uh, approach might be at open forum, which is provided now, the 15 minutes prior to council meeting. Would you consider doing so? Well, I, I know that you did call me earlier, so I, mean, I thought we were going to have that discussion, and uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor, for that opportunity. But we did agree on the telephone earlier that I don't think I don't think we agreed. I suggest that you might consider the open forum. So I think I would prefer to go ahead with that. Is that right? And I did appreciate that it was done very quickly and with great decorum. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Open forum? No, you'll be. It's a request. It continues to request a de deputation.
Good evening and welcome to the Council meeting of the Town of Newmarket on Monday, November 17, 2014. All members of Council are present. Mayor Van Bynen is presiding. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Clerk. Um, this evening's agenda is, uh, while sparse, is intended to acknowledge and recognize the contributions of our members of Council and our departing members of Council, and for a large measure is, is ceremonial and, uh, and a courtesy. Uh, we have had the open forum. There were, no one came forward. Um, there are no public notices. Uh, with respect to the additions and corrections to the agenda, um, we do have one request for deputations, and I would ask that we uh, move that uh, the deputation request be included. And also, uh, with Council's indulgence, I'd like to dispense with the regional reports, notices of motions, and the announcement of community events. Again, given the intent and the spirit of what we're trying to accomplish today. Mr. Mayor, I do have an announcement that I would like to make, and it comes from uh, uh, Gwyneth Anderson and uh, Bessie Vlasis, so I thought I could make it under that. Okay, all right, then. But I do that, and, and it's with regard to uh, one we've already declared, and that is the Bully Free Community, uh, Bully Free Week, uh, Mr. Mayor. The proclamation. The proclamation, we've, we've okay. Okay. So I would like can, to make that. We can deal with that at, when we deal with the council minutes because they do recognize it. Do you want to do it under council minutes of, uh, of uh, September the 29th? I'll stay with the announcements, okay? We'll oh, stay with, stay with announcements. the announcements. Yeah. That, that's stay that's where I prefer okay. to do it. So if I could have an amendment then, please, or a motion to, yeah. to accept the deputation request and to dispense with regional reports and notices of motion. Second. Okay. All those in favor? Now remember, we need to do the button. Okay, and that is carried. Are there any declarations of pecuniary interest? Seeing none. Again, with council's indulgence, then I'd like to go forward with the deputation, receive that deputation now. We can deal with the, the other matters of uh, administration following that. So Mr. Baxter, if you'd like to come forward, we do have five minutes under our bylaw. Uh, deputation. I'm presuming that um, I can sit here, can I? Uh, please do. That's thank the you. intent. Thank you very much. I should really say thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to take a moment uh, just to say that, you know, first of all, I, I do want to congratulate you, Mr. Mayor, and I know that um, um, Chris Campbell is here. I congratulate him and all those that ran, but I'm particularly grateful today to remember what has been done in the last four years by yourself and the council. And of course, I recognize there's only two council members that will be departing. And I really felt, Chris, that first of all, I wanted to just um, present this to you. It's Canadian Landscapes. And I'm hoping, Chris, that you'll have time now to travel across this nation. And I will deliver this to you shortly. But can we give a round of applause for Chris? I really appreciate everything that you've done. And uh, of course, Maddie, I have uh, the same calendar for you here as well, and I will deliver that to you shortly. And since I'm nearly done, I wanted to take a moment just to read this little um, Elvis uh, certificate, Maddie, that I have prepared for you, and it goes like this. It says, um, it is with a sense of profound gratitude for her service to the town of Newmarket over the past four years that I present this Elvis certificate of sincere appreciation to Maddie DiMuccio. Maddie, your pursuit of the E in Elvis for excellence, the L for loyalty, the V for vitality, and the I for inspiration has produced great success as you have continued to serve us. And I'd like to ask a round of applause for Maddie and what she's done. Thank you so much. And uh, with your permission, Mr. Mayor, I'll just deliver these very quickly. And I think I took two and a half minutes, so that's a little better than the, uh, the five minutes. So I thank you very much indeed. Thank you. And Chris, thank you so much thank you. for all that you've done for us. Maddie, I hope that you and John do some traveling. There's your certificate. And actually, there's a bag, and there's a few little uh, flowers. So thank you so much. And Mr. Mayor, thank you for your indulgence. And the council, I do thank you all very much. And I certainly want to go on record as wishing every blessing for the future for the new council. And as I started, I will end by simply saying thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.
Motion, motion to receive, Councillor Kerwin, seconded by second Councillor Hempen. All those in favor? And that is carried. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to go forward with the approval of the minutes of September 29th. Councillor Emanuel, seconded by Councillor Twinney. Any corrections? All those in favor? And that is carried. Also now the uh, Council closed minutes of September 29th. Move in a seconder, please. Councillor Vey, Councillor Kerwin. Any corrections? All those in favor? Okay. I'd like to now then go forward with our presentations. But before we begin with our presentations, I'd like to reflect back for a moment on only some of the many good things that this council has accomplished during its current term. Starting in 2010, we approved the concept design for the CUSP, the Community Urban Space Project, which led to the development and the opening of our Riverwalk Commons. We opened the Dave Kerwin Trail. We received the FCM Sustainable Communities Award for 34 for our 34 lot ecologic subdivision. We opened our consolidated operations center, which has a lead silver and received many awards for that. We opened our sports hall of fame. In 2011, we partnered with the Newmarket Lions Club to renovate the community center. We uh, started the Try the Triathlon, a new venture through the uh, Recreation and Culture Department. We started our new Barket, our first festival for dogs and dog owners. Uh, and we planted 800 trees. We launched a tree preservation initiatives. We had bylaws for the protection of woodlots and uh, tree protection. We saved $750,000 in insurance premiums by joining forces with the northern six municipalities. In 2012, we rezoned the Halton recycling lands from the composting uses uh, that, was, that was in place, and we changed that to mixed employment uses. We approved the design for the restoration of the Old Town Hall. We opened up the New Market Community Center Gardens near the Magna Center. We launched a new interactive online budgeting tool for our residents to voice their views on how our budget should be constructed. We organized the first business delegation to Finland. We launched our first interactive cultural map. We launched My Waste, a mobile app for residents that provides them with the waste collection schedules, but also gives them an opportunity to report problems like graffiti so that we could respond more quickly. We began the installation of solar panels to put our roofs to work to generate income. We unveiled 10 totems to serve as public art installations and as trail markers along the Tom Taylor Trail. We started phase two of the energy savings program and we received one of only five Google E-Town Awards in Canada. And we began to offer free Wi-Fi service both at the municipal offices at the Magna Center and we've been able to expand that on into the, uh, the uh, RJT and also into the uh, community center. In 2014, just this past year, we received the Smart Commute Gold Workplace Award. We organized our first Heritage Restaurant Tour, Savor the Downtown, and we were in the process of partnering with the hospital, York University, Seneca College, and Venture Labs to build Create IT, which is a startup innovation center. We we're in the process of issuing a request for pr proposals to establish a gigabit corridor as a pilot project to support our economic development plans to create jobs. And again, these are just a few highlights of the things that are most visible to our community. And I'm sure that each and every member of council is able to add many other projects that you've personally been involved with, and I invite you to do so. But before you do, I would like to recognize and say to my colleagues that each of you has made an important contribution to help make Newmarket even better, and that we should all be proud of what's been accomplished in four short years. I want to thank our staff for their commitment
for supporting this council in achieving what has been accomplished. Staff has always provided professional, courteous, helpful community support to our residents, and they too should be proud of what's been accomplished. And finally, Newmarket has been recognized as one of the top communities to live in Canada for the last four years. Again, something we should all be proud of, I'm proud of our residents, proud of our staff, and proud of our council. So I would invite uh, other members of council if they wish to make comments with respect to the current term of council, and then I'd like to make some presentations to uh, members. Is there anything I missed? Councillor Sponga. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, again, I, I want to reiterate uh, some of your words. I think that in the last four years, uh, this council has uh, contributed a lot uh, to the progress and the vitality of this municipality. Um, I uh, want to um, especially thank um, the outgoing members of council. And um, I want to thank um, Council Di Mucho for um, your contribution in council and thank you uh, for the opportunity to learn. Um, and um, I also want to take the time, uh, Mr. Mayor, um, to thank uh, Councillor Emanuel uh, for 11 years of uh, shared a cubicle or next to him. Um, and we both came in in 2003 as uh, um, very fresh councillors, young councillors, uh, not necessarily in age, but for myself, definitely for Councillor Emanuel, but both very young and experienced. And I remember one member of the staff, um, staff telling me that we were both too green to burn. Um, and it was so true. Um, but it's been a, a pleasure of working next um, um, to Councillor Emanuel in the uh, in the office. Um, we didn't always uh, we didn't always agree on um, items that came in front of council, but um, we had a, a great um, relationship where we were able to discuss a length mm -hmm. the issues that were before us and um, come to consensus on many issues. Um, I want to thank him for um, many years of advice, contribution, hard work, and um, I will definitely miss him. Um, and um, again, I want to say that not just as a politician, but as a colleague, it was a pleasure to work with you. Thank you, Chris. And maybe I should clarify that if there were any general comments relative to the, the uh, full term of council, and then after we make presentations to each member of council, then we can uh, we can. And of course, I appreciate the efforts of all members of council around the table as well, <laughs> Mr. Mayor, for the last four Good recovery. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Regional Councilor, just with respect to the overall term and then... Yeah, I, uh, I think we'll, as you said, we'll speak uh, to, to your colleagues later. But I just want to quickly say in terms of this term of council, uh, it's been an absolute pleasure. I think we've accomplished a great deal. Uh, and, I, and I think a lot of it has been done uh, through, uh, through partnerships uh, in, in the community and partnerships uh, amongst ourselves. And, and a few things I, I want to highlight, uh, and, and you mentioned the Riverwalk Commons, but that was an important, uh, a very important step forward for this town. And working on that uh, that um, task force with yourself and Councillor Spongo was a was a pleasure. But I also want to just highlight a couple other things. The the, um, the leash free dog park is under construction, and uh, working with Councillor Twinney and and uh, there's uh, people, many people in the audience as well that have worked uh, hard on that initiative, and to see that moving forward is great. And to have worked with Councillor Hempen on the. The, uh, the incredible makeover of the Maple Leaf School Park, uh, I think, was a significant uh, event uh, this term of council. Certainly, was one of the more significant uh, uh, moments in my time in office to to take a to take a, 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 a community that uh, that uh, needed the assistance and a, and, a, and a space at the at the school there that needed a, a facelift dramatically, and to do such a uh, to have such an outstanding result because of the generosity of the business community and the partners around this town is just a testament to. To, to the, the, the business and uh, community in, in Newmarket. And uh, I want to just point out also that the, the, um, at the region, we've had some uh, great successes this term as well. I won't get into them, but except the ones that connect here to Newmarket quickly, there's also been a first leash free dog park that the region has put into place just outside of Newmarket here. Um, I worked uh, hard at moving forward an aging uh, population strategy, or, uh, which is, I think, very, very important in the coming decade. Um, but uh, most of all, and the work that I enjoyed the most, is working with the Human Services Planning Board on the Make Rental Happen campaign. Uh, rental housing, as many people have heard me say, is desperately needed in York Region. Uh, and uh, we, we launched a strategy and a campaign, and, and that campaign had a quick success to seeing a, 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 the first major rental project building in York Region in over 20 years moving forward on Davis Drive here in Newmarket. So it's a very exciting moment, too. So some great stuff happening around the table, and all of those things we're in partnership with people around this table and people in this community. 
Thank you. Thank you. Councillor DeMocho. Uh, one of the things that I don't believe that you've mentioned was, um, you know, the, uh, uh, the opportunity now to have our votes recorded and to have our council meeting committee of the holes uh, archived and recorded as well. Um, this is very important going forward. We are the only municipality in York Region out of nine municipalities that do, uh, do these things. And um, I think that's very important. I think we're offering taxpayers um, a glimpse of what goes on in council. I, I think it's important that taxpayers uh, need, use this tool going forward. Um, they need to be have to have access to our votes. They need to have access to our meetings. And I see some of you here tonight have started a, a taxpayer coalition. That's wonderful. Some of you are here this evening. And those are very important tools that you'll need going forward. Um, and I think that we could all agree that uh, the public um, needs to have access to uh, to um, those that information. So I think that's one of the greatest achievements, certainly, that um, I'm proud of. And um, also the York Region uh, government um, also has uh, uh, meetings online as well. They're not record, they're not archived, unfortunately, but that was something that was also accomplished with this council. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Councillor Kerwin. Yes, Mr. Mayor. Uh, I'd like to uh, mention and thank all members of council collectively for the support for Central York Fire Services. Just a, a fantastic service that we've had and the members who have served on that committee, uh, Chris Emanuel being on that committee for 11 years, but I'm not going to single him out, and Jane Twinney for stepping up to become the chair. But I, I think we've established a, a great relationship with Central York Fire Services, and I look forward to this council doing that in, in the future. Uh, I think we've become closer, and I think that's important for Aurora and Newmarket, and I see uh, members of Aurora Council in the audience. So I wish to mention that, that it is a joint effort of both Aurora and Newmarket councillors. And uh, those members of sitting on that board can't do that without the support of all members of council because we have to submit the budget from that department to this council, Mr. Mayor. That's one item. You mentioned uh, Halton Recycling. And once again, I was on that committee and I want to thank all members of council for supporting uh, that particular committee because now the Halton lands are rezoned for industrial. That's going to help the town, and uh, they're up for sale. But not only that, at the end of it, M. Terra did make a donation of $50,000 to this town, and we do have the totems along the trail. We have 10 of them because of that uh, generous uh, donation from M. Terra. So, uh, and, uh, and also our CAO was instrumental in, in getting that money for us and making the Tom Taylor Trail even, even nicer. The other item that is uh, dear to my heart that I couldn't do without the support of all members of the council is the Bogart Creek Restoration Committee. I'm proud to say that that river is basically pristine. It's been 10 years now in the making. We've planted, that committee has planted over 10,000 trees within the town and the project in the next year is to stock that uh, stream with uh, brook trout which was our original intention in the first place. And once again, I could not have done it without the support of all members of council and the staff. So thank you, members of council. Thank you. Okay, no further speakers then. I'd like to go forward with our presentation. I'll start with Councillor Emanuel, as our longest tenured uh, departing member of council. Uh, just for uh, benefit of our audience, Councillor Emanuel has been involved in a number of uh, committees with the town of Newbarton. During the term of 2003-2006, he sat on the Holland River Newmarket Trails Committee from 2003 to actually 2010. He has been a member of the Central York Fire Services Joint Council Committee from 2003 to 2014. He was on the Stickwood Walker Recreational Complex Budget Control Task Force uh, during the terms of 2003-2010, and he was instrumental in starting off the first night celebrations, which continues on to be a very popular uh, activity for our community. In 2006 to 2010, Councillor Emanuel was on the Accessibility Advisory Committee as an alternate on the Newmarket Public Library Board, the Operations Centre, Construction Budget Control Task Force, the Santa Claus Parade Committee, the Cultural Master Plan Working Committee, uh, and he was on the Newmarket Arts Council Task Force as well as the Newmarket Sports Hall of Fame Committee, as well as being a member of the Seniors Meeting Place Board from 2011-2012. And I'm sure there's probably a few things that I've missed, Councillor, 
but you've served your community well and you should be proud of your contribution. And if members of council would join me, we'll make a presentation to Councilor Manning in the center. And, uh, <coughs> your colleagues, your community. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Thank you. Of course, we're filming. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> So, Councillor, I will invite your comments. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, I'll uh, try to be brief, especially because I think my nieces are bored. Uh, but uh, <clears throat> I just wrote a few comments tonight. So, uh, my, most of my friends who are gamblers uh, will probably have the over on me getting emotional. But uh, this is a uh, uh, big day. So, today I close a chapter in my life. Uh, and embark on a new one. I'm of mixed emotions. I am excited to start a new career and expand my horizons, but I'm sad to be leaving these chambers. <clears throat> I've truly been fortunate to have been elected three times to Newmarket Council. I've had the pleasure of working with two separate mayors, two regional councillors, and 11 different ward councillors. To my colleagues tonight, I say thank you. I don't consider you just colleagues. Rather, many of you have become friends. I'm buoyed in the knowledge that we have a talented group with diverse ideas leading our community for the next four years. To the two new incoming councillors who are here tonight, I wish them the best of luck and know that our community will benefit from what they are bringing to this table. Every member of this council has only one vote. The mark of an effective councillor is one who is able to work towards consensus and collaborate with their colleagues. It is very easy to oppose things and, and certainly garners press, but the core of a councillor's responsibility is to progress an agenda, and that can only be done by working collaboratively. It is, a hard, it is a harder task to propose ideas, work with council and staff, recognize that your ideas can be improved on with input from others, and garner the requisite five or more votes. A strong and effective council is one that has disagreements, for a council that agrees all the time can be just as dangerous as one mired in conflict. But debate should be about the idea, not about the personalities around the table. Too often elected officials let their emotions get the better of them. I am not innocent in this regard. However, one piece of advice I offer is to engage in constant self-reflection, even in the middle of meetings. The next four years with a new council composition is an opportunity to show, that all, that show all that can be accomplished when ideas and initiatives are the focus. I am proud of the work we have accomplished over the past 11 years. I am proud to have received the endorsement in three consecutive elections from the residents of Ward 7. My success in politics has not been my own. I've had successes in politics because I've been standing on the shoulders of giants. I 
I've learned a great deal from my colleagues around this table and from the staff here at the Town of Newmarket. To Mayor Ben Bynum and my council colleagues, tonight I say thank you. We didn't always agree on issues and a debate, but I know we accomplished a great deal. Many of you I've had the pleasure of working with for multiple terms and the cumulative accomplishments over those terms have been significant. Our CIO Bob Shelton has instilled a culture of vision and passion amongst our staff. They provide advice and recommendations without fear or favor. The day that staff are not able to speak truth to power is the day that your community moves backwards and not forwards. I've been privileged to work with an impressive staff. Their dedication and passion is evident on a daily basis. So today I say thank you. Thank you for being one of the many giants whose shoulders I've been able to stand on. I'm fortunate to have both my parents here tonight. Both now retired, my parents dedicated their lives to the public service. My sister and brother-in-law are here in attendance with two of my nieces. Both Aaron and Tony are police officers dedicated to the public service. Tonight, I thank them for being some of the giants whose shoulders I've stood on. Giants who have inspired me and have challenged me to be a better person. To the residents of the town of Newmarket and my friends here in attendance tonight, I cannot fully express my appreciation for your support over the years. To know that you have unwavering support, not just at the good times, but when times are tough, is maybe the greatest and most humbling feeling one could ever have. Thank you for allowing me to stand on your shoulders. Tonight I say farewell and feel that Newmarket is maybe a slightly better place than when I took office 11 years ago. Not because of me, but because I was part of a team of council, staff, residents, and friends who have committed themselves to a better community. Bobby Kennedy said, few will have the greatness to bend history itself, but each of us can work to change a small portion of events. And in total, all of those acts will be written the history of this generation. So tonight, let us all commit to contributing to a better town and the knowledge that our successes are not our own, they are because we stand on the shoulders of giants. Thank you. Thank you. Councillor, uh, inviting comments from other members of council if they so wish. Regional Councillor. Thanks. I'm going to make a, a couple of comments. Uh, I thought I'd, um, I think, I don't know how much uh, the people in attendance know about Councillor Emanuel's uh, time in office and, and some of the things he's done. And I won't get into great detail, but I will point out that uh, he was the youngest person ever elected to Newmarket Town Council at the age of 23 years old. Uh, it was a massive landslide victory. Uh, six votes, I think, was what he won by. And, uh, and, uh, but, uh, but not shortly after that, uh, he also managed to secure one of the largest margins in the history of the town of Newmarket, 86% of the vote. And uh, in his time here, I think, you know, and Tony touched on a lot of things he's been involved in, but I think if you really, there's so many different things he's been involved in, but if you think of three things, and that's the Magna Center, uh, the Dave Kerwin Trail and the green space around it, which is about 160 acres permanently protected in this town, and, the, and the, uh, the cultural renaissance we've been seeing in town through the cultural master plan. Those three things have his, uh, his fingerprints and his passion instilled in them forever, and, uh, and certainly a, a huge part he played in that. Uh, so, you know, I, I, think, I think the other thing I think a lot of people don't know is that um, he's, he's probably... And I've got a biased opinion, but I think he's probably one of the more skilled uh, municipal politicians in, in Ontario. He, um, he also was involved in the Canadian Women's Hockey League board for many, many years, and the Federation of Canadian Municipalities as a leader going uh, across the country to Queen's Park and to Ottawa, advocating on, on behalf of municipalities. So he was on a national stage on behalf of this town. He brought an incredible amount of skill, an incredible amount of knowledge, an incredible amount of humor. Uh, we can see he still does that with the bow ties. Um, and, uh, he, he, and he made this job for everyone here more enjoyable. He brought humor and fun while bringing a great deal of commitment, passion, and accomplishments to this town. And I tell you, I think that's one of the things we're all going to miss the most is the, uh, the fun that he brings to what he does, the incredible sense of humor he has, often at our expense, uh, and it'll be missed a great deal, but his insights will not be missed because I can assure you, uh, even though um, uh, he will not be here, I will call him often for advice. And so you'll be missed, Chris. 
Councillor Twinney. Thank you. Um, I'll just be brief. I just want to say that um, four years ago when I first came on council, this was a, a daunting um, uh, experience to, you know, come forward and, and be part of. It was a, a huge learning curve and, and I didn't really know Chris when I first came on council. We, you know, met a couple times perhaps to say hello, but certainly weren't, uh, we didn't know each other very well. And, but Chris clo uh, certainly became somebody that I could go to um, on a regular basis if I had questions about anything. And, and uh, you know, I mean, certainly there was many questions, especially in the first few years, first couple of years especially. And even though uh, at times we often didn't agree and our, our politics are on, on, on different ends, um, I always valued your, your opinions. I always valued what you brought forward. And, um, and just to reiterate some of the mention of the comments you made, uh, John, about the humor, um, it certainly it made things um, some you know some council meetings it made things certainly get by a little bit uh, a little bit easier. So I want to thank you so much, Chris, for everything that you've done helping me in this term, uh, and uh, I hope uh, I'm able to still uh, pick up the phone or, and ask you questions uh, moving forward in the next term of council. So thank you. Thank you, Councillor Kerwin. <coughs> yes, Mr. Mayor, humor when. Uh, Chris came on board, he was 23. Uh, and he adopted me as, as his grandfather. <laughs> and he immediately started to call me Opa because my grandson came to love this man. My grandson, Zach Kerwin. Zach calls me Opa. Chris called me Opa. And my wife is also in the audience tonight to pay tribute to uh, an excellent counselor, but also a personal friend. Uh, we had many good times together. I'm not going to retell those tales. Uh, but Chris was devoted, as you have already pointed out, to Central York Fire Services. He committed 11 years. All the time he was on council. That's a tribute to the man. And uh, he was chairman for many years. And uh, I salute you, Chris. And uh, I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss your skill with the, with the computer. Uh, you've brought me up half to speed, and uh, I'm progressing. So, Chris, all the best to you. Thanks for your friendship, but more importantly, thanks for your skill, your knowledge, but your sense of humor. When things were tight, you could always come up with a quip, and we started to laugh. So you're part of our family. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. Councillor Hempen. Thank you. Um, when I think of Chris, I think of a, a very happy and a very kind person, a very good person. And one of his, uh, he's a very respectful person. Um, I've learned a great deal from Chris. He's, he's very respectful and he works very well with staff. And um, I, I've learned a, a great deal from you, Chris. Um, I appreciate, as myself being a rookie counselor and a new counselor, I would have many questions from residents and issues that needed to be resolved. And, I frankly didn't know how to do it. I didn't know where to go, who to speak with, but Chris, Chris was always there and he was always somebody who would give me a hand and, and much of my successes in, in looking after and helping residents are yours because you helped me and, and I've learned a great deal from you. Um, I'm also going to miss you very much. You're, you're a great guy you're, and, and you do bring humor and, and lightness to the, to the council, so I thank you very much. Thank you. Councillor Vig. Thank you. Chris Emanuel, the man, the myth, and the bow tie. Um, Chris, uh, to, to this job, that's what I've really appreciated about you. You've always brought integrity to the job. People have mentioned your humor, your, um, uh, your knowledge. In particular, I know a number of times I've asked you about the Miss Black, and, and your knowledge of Miss Black was, was so impre in, impressive. Um, the, the, you made us proud when you represented us on the Canadian Federation of Municipalities. Uh, I believe, uh, and I may be, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe it's the first numeric councillor that's ever done that for us. We were very proud of that. Um, but what I value the most, what I absolutely value the most is, uh, is the friendship and the friendship we've developed um, over the years. Uh, that friendship's going to continue uh, beyond council, but um, it was so nice to have that uh, on council, along with many other, of our other council members, too. Um, but but that, that friendship, the ability to work together, not always agreeing, 
but certainly the ability to have respect and work together and be friends at the end of the night even when we did disagree. And that's a, that's a tremendous asset to take with you uh, wherever you go. So I wish you nothing but the best in, in the future. I can't say how proud I am to have uh, served, on, served on council with you and how proud you made, you made us. So thank you for all you've done for Newmarket and for our council. Thank you. And on a personal note, I appreciate your candor and your insight and the discussions that we've had. You've made some great contributions, not just around this table, but in uh, discussions that have helped me form some of my thoughts as well. I respect that. I appreciate that. And uh, I hope to be able to stay in touch with you as we go forward. Because if this community is fortunate, you may someday come back to this council chamber. Thank you. Tom said I bring lightness. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I really appreciate that. And I think that should be in the record. <laughs> Thank you. We're also here to uh, celebrate and appreciate the contributions of Councillor Maddie DiMuccio. She was elected in 2010, and during the term of 2010 to 14, Maddie sat on the Audit Committee, the Inclusivity Advisory Committee, the Public Library Board, and the Newmarket Seniors Meeting Place Advisory Board. And for such a short time, your contribution has been appreciated, Councillor DiMuccio. And I would invite members of council to uh, join me as well in the center circle to make a presentation to you as well. On behalf of our council. Four years. Councillor DiMuccio, I invite your comments if you wish. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, and thank you for uh, the presentation and to the rest of Council. I didn't write any notes down. I didn't make anything, put anything down, but I just wrote some of my thoughts. Um, I, first of all, want to thank uh, my family for being here. Unfortunately, my husband cannot make it tonight. He's out of town on business, but my three children are here, and I know they're proud of their mom. So thank you for being here. And um, I also wanted to uh, thank staff. Um, truly, uh, if, if it's one thing that I've learned um, so much about Municipal uh, Council, it's from this staff, and we do have a wonderful staff. I wanted to particularly thank the Planning Department and the Engineering Department because they um, are very pivotal to uh, town business, and they have been exemplary. Uh, always there for me when I had questions that I needed answered and um, always uh, really working to the top of their level and um, I think we're very blessed to have them. In particular, Rachel Prudham, who's not here tonight, Director of Engineering, and before her, Jim Katribis, who's no longer with the town. And I wanted to thank them both personally because they uh, certainly helped uh, guide me in a lot of the questions that I had. Um, I also wanted to thank some of the candidates, or all of the candidates, in fact, that ran. Some of them are here tonight. Um, and I know it takes a lot of courage to put your name on a ballot and to run. Um, it gets very political. It gets very nasty. And it takes great courage to stand up for your principles. 
and um, to uh, make this town a better place. I know that's what your intentions were, and I wanted to thank you on behalf of my office here that you put your names on that ballot, and congratulations to you all. Um, and I also wanted to say, you know, four years ago, I was a stay-at-home mom. I was taking care of my kids, and um, I grew up in a family where um, politics and democracy was very important to us. My father was um, a, uh, he spent three years in a Stasi war prison for um, helping a young woman try to get back to her home at that time when it was a communist country the, before the wall came down. Um, and he always instilled in me the great, um, the great meaning of what it means to be, uh, to, to be strong in your community, to help others, and to, be, uh, to have a lot of will and that takes great courage. Politics is not an easy job, and it takes great courage to put through something that you believe in. Um, so we grew up in a family that way, and my father is my biggest inspiration. He's not here tonight, but he certainly inspired my own career. Um, I want to also thank uh, New Market, and particularly Ward 6 and beyond, um, for helping me excel in my career, for giving me that chance. Um, you know. Again, a stay-at-home mom four years ago, and in one term, I was really proud of my accomplishments. I, um, I had uh, spoken to the Manning Institute for Democracy on women in politics. I was given the opportunity to write for the Toronto Sun. As a political columnist, I was um, given the opportunity to become a media pundit um, on, on certain networks, and I was invited to speak mm -hmm on uh, municipal transparency with uh, the ombudsman in a forum, and there will be many upcoming opportunities for me. I was also very pleased to get a letter from Human Resources, sorry, from the Human, um, uh, from the, uh, oh, can you help me here? <laughs> mm -hmm. Human Rights Commission, I'm sorry, yes. Human Rights Commission yesterday recognizing my work on council. Uh, I was very honored for that and to be able to speak on that. So um, I guess what I'm trying to say is that for anybody out there who thinks that you cannot accomplish so much um, from being just a stay-at-home person or not having a career to going out there and um, making your voice known and engaging the public and bringing people together and accomplishing so much to help uh, inspire others, um, you can do it. I certainly did it. And um, there are many chapters in life, and I wanted to thank the, the the community for giving me that chapter and to um, giving me the the courage and the opportunity to move on to a next one um, and the tools that I need for success in my next chapter. So I wanted to thank you all for that. Um, and I think that's all I have to say, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Thank you. Um, invitation for any comments from other members of council? Okay. I'll, uh, what I'd like to do then is to round out the, uh, the current term of council. As a matter of record, I would invite as mover and seconder for both the confirmatory bylaw and no, the adjournment. Mayor, to... Oh, that's right. Thank you, Councillor Kerwin, for reminding me. I know we, uh, we normally have it uh, on there, Mr. Mayor. It was on the agenda. But to me, this is uh, very, very important. Uh, the Ministry of Education has mandated that the third week in November be Bullying Awareness and Prevention Week. And through the deputation of Bully Free Community Alliance, the Town of Newmarket has proclaimed the week of November 17th, which starts today, as Bullying Awareness and Prevention Week in Newmarket. The Riverwalk Commons will be lit up blue for the entire week. So when you go down to the Riverwalk Commons, you know the symbol of blue. It's uh, for the Bully Awareness Week. Bully Free <coughs> Community Alliance's proof is proud to announce that we have been invited to present as witnesses before the Senate Committee hearings in Ottawa on Bill C-13, Protecting Canadians from Online Crime Act. We present on Thursday, November 20th. So, and this is from uh, Gwyneth Anderson and Bessie Vlasis, who will be our representative in Ottawa uh, this coming week. 
We are honored and proud to represent our community and will continue to have a voice and advocate to help students and families who have been affected by bullying. And we're all aware of the fact that this has become uh, a real problem with cyberbullying. In fact, uh, young people have taken the, their own lives because they have been denigrated by a cyber bully. It takes a whole community to come together and we appreciate the support that the Town of Newmarket has offered our organization. Through our collaboration with the two school boards and the York Regional Police, we have created a video on coming together as a community to change a culture on cyberbullying. And this is signed Gwyneth Anderson and Bessie Vlasis who have led this uh, Bullying Week awareness uh, uh, in the town of Newmarket and also they're going to be holding seminars in the next few years um, to prevent the spread of the use of drugs by our youth. So congratulations, it just shows you what two ordinary citizens can do for a community. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Okay, and I'd like, again, like I'd, uh, what I'd like to do is I'd like to round out this session of council by having them uh, as mover and seconder, uh, Councillors Emanuel and Councillor Lamucho, first for the confirmatory bylaw and then for the adjournment so that the, uh, they're both on record in terms of the last acts of business for this council. Councillor Emanuel, the confirmatory bylaw. Councillor DiMuccio, just a second. Okay, all those in favor? Press the button. That's carried, thank you. A motion to adjourn, Councillor DiMuccio. In favor. Mo moved and seconded by Councillor Emanuel, thank you. All those in favor? Hmm? Oh, yes. <laughs> we need to push our buttons. Okay. I hereby declare this term and this meeting adjourned. Thank you very much. Thank you.